With the animation done, that's another to-do item crossed off the list. The last item is to submit the app to the Google Play Store. But before you do that, you'll want to let people know who actually made the app. Currently, all you have in Time Fighter is the game screen. There is no other information about the app and who built it. You could put an info button on the game screen itself, but that would distract users from the gameplay. You need a way to give your users access to additional functions without having to put all of it on your main game screen. Now, fortunately, Android provides an easy way to do this, and that's menus. Menus like the menus on your computer or the menus from a restaurant provide you with a list of options. In the case of Android, the menu is accessible via the top bar in your app. As is the case with a lot of things in Android development, you start a menu by defining the relevant resource. With your project open, right-click on the App Res folder and select New Menu Resource File. Give it the name Menu and select the resource type as Menu. Android Studio will switch to the Layout Editor and show you a screen similar to what you did when you edited a UI layout. This editor is similar to the UI Layout Editor, but this one is just for creating menus. Notice that the palette only contains items for a menu and that the component tree only shows menu-specific items. Currently, we only want a single item in the menu. Drag a menu item from the palette over to the layout. You can drop the menu item anywhere on the layout, and it will result in a menu button. A new menu item will appear on the layout. Also note that a new item appears on the component tree. If you select the menu item, its attributes will appear in the Attributes panel. Do the following. Set the ID to Action About. This ID will be used to identify this particular menu item. Set the title to About. We'll do this by creating a string value using the ellipsis next to the text field. Let's call it About Menu. Set the icon by clicking the ellipsis next to it and searching for the info in the resulting dialog. From there, select the IC Dialog Info icon. This is one of the bundled icons from Android. You could also use a custom icon if you wanted to. For a custom icon, you have to add the resource to the drawable folder under Resources. Set Show as Action to Always. This attribute controls how the menu item is displayed, and that always means that the item will always be displayed. Some of the other options can either always hide the menu item or only show it if there is enough space on screen. That's it for the menu layout. Now let's add some code. Switch to mainactivity.kt and add the following method. You are overriding the method which handles the creation of the activity standard menu and that you are overriding the default implementation to show your own menu. The menu inflator is an existing property from the parent class AppCompatActivity, which is used to instantiate menus from XML files. Now add the following method. This is another override to handle menu selections, and that here we look for the ID of the menu item we added. If that is the selected item, we execute a method to show some app information. The method to show the information is not in place yet, and we will have to add a method stub for the time being to get everything to compile correctly. Run the app and check out the menu in action. You'll notice that by selecting the menu item does nothing since show info currently shows nothing, but we'll add more functionality in the next video.